About 25, 26 years ago, this tree started to fall down. It was a big rainstorm, and things were different. This brick area wasn't here. This tapered all the way down. And I was called out by the city, and the entire root plate had lifted up off the ground. I was able to put my arm underneath the entire root ball. The city was panicking. They said, we've got to save this tree at all costs. So we had a bunch of arborists here and a bunch of people, and we were all scratching our heads trying to figure out what to do. And I said, well, we could put up a prop. And everybody looked at me and said, do it. And I thought, oh, I've never done this before. <laughs> so we, uh, we put a lot of work into engineering this. And uh, before we did it, I climbed up in this tree and I took out 7,000 pounds of weight on the backside. And the tree settled back into the hole. That was a positive. That made me feel pretty good about the whole thing. We put the props up there as sort of insurance that it wouldn't go down. And we've been watching this tree for a long time. This tree's a little under the weather right now. And um, I don't want to predict a sad future for the tree. The tree has had a hundred year life. And uh, we are doing a lot of stuff here in the city to see what we can do to extend the life of this tree. However, we may not make it. So you heard it from the mayor first, and I apologize in advance. Um, but today we will plant another tree here that I am hopeful will grow to be a hundred year old tree within this very Blaney Plaza and maybe someday it'll be known as our official city tree. So Arbor Day 2015, this blue oak tree is planted on April 21st, 2015 and is dedicated to Jill Hunter. Yay. And with that I'd like to invite up my, my fellow city council members and Jill. No, you don't. Just make sure it stays healthy and watered. <laughs> and we'll all share a shovel and we're going to do the, uh, the first shovel. Okay, no. Today, you know, we're here to uh, honor the trees within our city. And the program today was constructed all about honoring the trees. We honored uh, the old trees, such as this stony pine here in Blaney Plaza. Um, we honored the groups, such as Our City Forest, who are planting new trees within our city, 550 so, long, so far. Um, we honored all the people in the last year that added their trees to our historic tree list within the city. Mm -hmm. And lastly and not least, we planted an oak tree to honor Jill Hunter for all that she's done to help protect and uh, preserve the trees within our city. We did recognize Madronia Cemetery today for some of their historic trees within that property. And their vision is uh, to turn it not only to a cemetery, but also for it to be an arboretum. It is an amazingly diverse and uh, historic horticultural asset within our city. It's been my pleasure to be involved with trees, because I do love trees, and also flowers, and even this Blaney Plaza, which has all been redone, and, um, and the fence, look at the wonderful fence, and we're gonna be pulling the roses up over the fence, and well, doing- That's gonna be great. Yes, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So it's the city of Saratoga that did that, and we're so grateful to all of that. I should point out that the city of Saratoga uh, four years ago did purchase the quarry property just up Big Basin Way past Hakoni Gardens and there's now uh, 64 acres which hopefully in November you'll all be back for a ribbon cutting we will open up that park to the public so by far the largest park within our city um, and hopefully it will be the beginning of what will be known as Saratoga to the Sea Trail.